Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today I'm going to do something I generally never do on this channel and that is talk about a Kickstarter. For one, there just doesn't seem to be nearly as many game development related Kickstarters out there and two, a lot of them are far too speculative or off topic for me to cover here. But today we are talking about a site that I really like and I'd like to see this uh, Kickstarter take off even though I'm personally probably not going to be an, an end user, many of you might be. And today what we're talking about is low spec. Now once upon a time I used to do this series called five great game dev websites where I would gather together five great web, source, web, uh, web resources and do a video on it. And I did, I think, five volumes of this, so six volumes of this. So if you want to check out, there's 30 great websites. I will link this down below if you want to see that. But in volume four, I featured low spec tutorials and palettes. I should actually reconsider starting this back up again. It was kind of fun to do. But anyways, I have featured this in the past. So if you're a regular of this channel, you, you may have seen this recommendation already. But even if you aren't, if you are a pixel artist, you have no doubt been to low spec at some point in time uh, because they have some of the most concise uh, pixel art tutorials you are going to find. Uh, but on top of that, they got a couple of other tools here as well. They've got the palette list tool here, uh, which I just opened up over here. So you can see here uh, what you can do is search for a number of different predefined color palettes. You can nicely see how they look and so on. Uh, you can sort. So say you're looking for a uh, 40 color palette. There you go. And it'll come up with different settings and so on there. Or if you are looking for a very specific theme, let's try just at random Amstrad. So there, if you want to recreate the Amstrad color palette, you can see it in action here and you can see previews of what that palette will look like. So if you're trying to come up with a palette set for your retro style game, this can be a great uh, tool or resource for you. On top of that, We've also got an online pixel editor, so you can actually edit pixels, uh, fat grid pixels uh, in the browser right here using their own built-in pixel editor. They also have a pixel art uploader, uh, which can make it so you can upload up to Twitter without the uh, automatic scaling. It prevents the JPEG compression. Everybody knows that if you upload your art to Twitter, your end result is going to be a bit iffy. And then on top of that, as I mentioned earlier on, they have a ton of tutorials. So if you're looking to create, say, like a walk cycle here for example here is the tutorial and as you will see each one of these are implemented as simple step-by-step -step animated gif or jif or jif or whatever you want to call them these days i'm going to stay with gif because that is the one true word but you can see here it is simple animated gif instructions on how to create pixel art and you're going to find there are a ton of them here there there are there's probably a number here somewhere uh, 585 different uh, pixel art tutorials here. Almost all of these are just simple animated GIFs showing you how to do things. So example, if you are doing shading, you can see details of how to light shading, how things work, and so on. Again, all nicely animated. One of the most concise pixel art tutorial resources you are going to find. So that is low spec as they exist today. Uh, but what they are trying to do is launch the low spec gallery Kickstarter. And I'm going to say, I'm not really going to say try to do anymore because they basically already succeeded. This just launched and they've got 29 days to go and they're at uh, the $12,000 backing, and their overall goal isn't really that that much higher. So uh, what we're looking at today is basically the Low Spark Gallery is kind of a place for constrained artists or what they call digitally restrictive art uh, to showcase your work. So um, you can uh, put up your, uh, we've got voxels, we've got chiptune, we've got... Um, low poly and then of course we got pixel art and of course what they're going to do is make it so that these tools work the best with those things so you're not going to have uh, compression on your interface and so on so their goal here is to make everything as accessible and easy to use as possible you can focus on making art and having fun not cropping thumbnails uh, they're going to have a modern interface custom art viewers which display low spec art properly without compression which is one of those areas again where something like twitter is problematic and then a small focus community where you can more easily get to know people making similar art uh, specifically low spec galleries will be better than all the current options with these particular features we've got full page display a pixel art viewer that automatically zooms in without blurring and allows user zooming and panning moderated categories and search terms so you can find similar pieces with ease spec detection automatically reads and displays info about your art such as the resolution the palette uh, the file size and more timed cues so that all new pieces get an equal chance to be seen on the front page 
I guarantee you that feature goes away within a few days because let's just say not all work is created equal and someone's going to start putting up pictures of dicks within seconds. But hey, it's, it's a great idea. It's just not going to work in execution. And then finally, we've got easily, easy social media posting so you don't have to worry about resizing and uploading to multiple places. So in other words, they're going to probably reuse the Twitter uh, tool that they've already created so that your art looks good up there. And then we've got a number of stretch goals. So if they get to 20K, and again, we're at 12 now, of okay so i'm assuming these are u.s i'm actually not that familiar with kickstarter if it's changing out currency so i'm assuming this is a target of usd so i'm guessing they're just a little bit over halfway there uh they're guaranteeing a 2021 release all medium supported image album display type at 30k we're gonna have 3d model and audio display types art licensing free asset libraries that will be actually kind of nice because this will turn this into a nice tool for basically everybody and uh, not just for people to display and demonstrate their work uh collaboration event system and personal portfolios are coming in at 50k 75k we're going to get into art theft from um protection and a submission API. 100K, we are getting to curated pages with art from artists, mediums, and tags that you follow, making it more of an art community for discovering similar and like-minded art. And then if you keep handing them money, they're going to keep doing stuff. And on top of that, we start getting into um, different tiers, different support levels. There are rewards here. So if you're at this tier, you can get a t-shirt out here if you have some more than enough, you can get your logo, uh, which will appear on every gallery page for at least two years and on the supporter page permanently. Uh, you can get alpha access if you are um, wanting to see, you know, how the sausage is made. Uh, stickers, postcards, uh, beta access, low spec premium. So you can get a premium account on low spec for a certain number of months, which gives you uh, ad free browsing, priority content approval, supporter icon. So that's the ex existing low spec page that we saw earlier on. A supporter page, uh, a developer log that you can watch, and so on. So here we go. Uh, as it stands, low spec is basically a single person, Sam Ketty. He's available on Twitter at skettles. Um, and then uh, basically a bit of a bio of what he's all about. Uh, you can see how the money is going to be used. I think they have to do this for the most part because, you know, what it boils down to is really this should be like 99% here. But I think this is one of those things that Kickstarter actually makes creators do. In terms of risks, they also have to put a risk things up. The biggest risk is he's not going to do anything and your money's going to go down the toilet. So that's true of basically all Kickstarters. Uh, we see over here, they've got the pledging side. So if you're, there's the $1 supporter tier, um, it gets access to the development logs and 16X included on supporter page. I'm not 100% sure that, that works. Uh, $10 or more, uh, you get some three months low spec premium, uh, 32X included on supporter page and access to developer logs, sticker or postcard set, beta access, $25, you get uh, kind of a bit more of the same, just longer numbers. At $50, that's where you get the t-shirt or the poster there. Um, and then various different other things there. $100, that's where you're starting to get into uh, included 64X included in sponsor section, alpha access. Uh, is it alpha access here? Yeah, alpha access, beta access. So the alpha access first starts at uh, here at the bronze supporter level. And that's also where you get a t-shirt out of things. And then it just kind of keeps going up and up. And you can go all the way up to $1,000, which definitely, you're going to get your eight t-shirts, alpha access, beta access, uh, a lot of inclusion and so on. And you've, you've actually got three backers there already. So, hey, good on them. Uh, so, again, you know what you're getting. The guy already runs a website or service that's out there. Many of you have, may have already used it. So if what you're looking for is sort of a pixel art portfolio site slash community that is optimized for displaying and, and utilizing and showcasing, you know, restrained art, uh, again, including things like um, chiptune and voxels and so on. This may be a project of interest to you, but even if it isn't, uh, hopefully at least I just uh, showcased uh, low spec to you for the first time. So if you're looking for pixel art tutorials, those are all available today over at low spec, which is available at lowspec.com. And if you want, you can jump over to their Kickstarter. All of the relevant links will be in the linked article down below. So that is it. Uh, low spec running a Kickstarter to run their low spec gallery, uh, a new community for constrained art, pixel art, voxels, chiptunes, and so on. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later.